Yo, what's up guys, my name is Anubba on Pred, and today what I'll be bringing you guys is my 2k subscriber q and A. I I've put a little face cam in the corner just so it's a little bit more personal, I don't know how to say it so you guys, I don't know how to say it, but I think you guys know what I mean. Um, I think it would just be a bit better if I was to do it instead of just behind the mic, although I'm already using the mic just to make it better quality sound, for like, as if it was a commentary but you could still see my face anyway. But uh, yeah. Hopefully you guys will enjoy this uh, Q&A question. Um, I've got a few nice and decent, you know, thought process questions um, to answer. And um, yeah, let's kick it straight off. The first question is from Hey Stereo, and his question is: Was I a good pub stomper in the MW3 Prime? And um, if I was, if you say pub stomper, no. Player, I'd say yes because. Um, I got loads and loads and loads of mobs. At that time, MW3 pub stomping wasn't exactly established as you know a part of a YouTuber. If you know what I mean, not a YouTuber, part of Call of Duty pub stomping wasn't really around. It was more in like the Black Ops 2 Prime, um, where you know pub stomping was you know going on, and um, I didn't really pub stomp. I used to play in six man demos and you know not spawn trap because on MW3 the spawns weren't fixed so um, I was just running around getting mobs and uh, having fun to be honest I wasn't really a pub stomper but I was a decent player the next question is from iHarveyHD and his question is what is my subscriber target for the end of 2014 and my target is probably about 4 to 5k um, this is based on growth at the minute it all depends because advanced warfare it is a massive stepping stone in terms of you could easily grow throughout the first week if you post good enough content I mean if everything goes well I could easily be at 10k by Christmas you never know but um, it's, it's something I can't really you know predict because of that so um, I'd, I'd, I'd like to uh, hit 4 to 5k the next question is from T, uh, Dewey TM and his question is what is my favourite COD and my favourite COD is World at War I did do a video on this ages ago but I'm assuming uh, you're one of the newer subscribers which is awesome and uh, yeah just as a recap my favourite was World at War because it was my first and normally it's that nostalgia process where your first COD is normally your favourite so um, yeah thank you for that question the next question is from James Brewer and his question is what football team do I support I support Chelsea FC call me a glory hunter but to be honest before they even were bought by Abramovich who is obviously the owner of the club who is obviously a multi-millionaire and um, I supported them even before that they wasn't they weren't amazing they were in the you know the premiership and that but they weren't you know fighting for the championship um, obviously the title but, um, they were just like a subpar team, but I still like them. And the reason why I started supporting them is actually just because of the colour blue. And that's as blunt as it is, it's kind of true. The next question is from Ignite V, and his question is Who inspired me to do pub stomping? Um, I'd say Fear Crads from MW3. I said there wasn't pub stomping around, but um, I, if, I suppose if you could say that was pub stomping, because obviously he was probably the best British player at the start of MW3 is to watch all these videos that's what actually inspired me to do my 25 chem strikes of Christmas because he did 25 mobs of Christmas so um, yeah I got a few ideas from him and just tried to play how he played and uh, that's pretty much what brought me into a pub stomper to be honest so uh, yeah the next question is from Adrian Krogstad and his question is can I do a class setup video um, yes, there will be one coming. I don't know when, but um, I, I normally have like a schedule of uploads, and I'll try my very best just before um, the end of the month to fit in a class setup video for you guys. So um, I try and sort that out. He also asked, "How old am I?" 16 and uh, 17 in November. And the next question he asked as well is, "How many minutes or hours do I play COD every day?" Um, I'd say it depends because if I'm on the school days I don't play during the school week but other weekends I'll probably play like four hours at least 
Um, but if I was on holidays, I'd be spending like two to three hours a day. So um, it's, it's a bit inconsistent, it depends. Um, he also asked, should I start YouTube? Because I'm wondering if I want to start. And if you want to do it, go ahead. If you're thinking about it and you're not sure, think about it further. But um, it's about what you want to do. If you want to post stuff that you enjoy, if you, in, will in, if you know you're going to enjoy doing it, then all for you. Go for it, man. The next question is from Venkat Bade, and his question is, Would you, I mean, are you good at education? And I'm okay at school, um, not the best, not the brightest, but um, I'm not bad. I did pretty good in my GCSEs, so um, yeah, I, I'd say I'm alright, <laughs> to be honest. The next question is from Ninja Nugget, and his question is, When did I start playing Call of Duty? Um, when as in year, um, 2000 and uh, late, um, late August 2009 was when I started um, and the game as I said before was World at War which was in its prime time but coming towards obviously the end of its cycle so uh, yep yeah. the next question is from GETM again and his question is what are my thoughts on Advanced Warfare uh, personally um, it, it's pretty good it's pretty good I'm not going to you know, slay the game down because there's not much been out of it. It's only in the beta build. From what I've seen, I actually think it looks kind of good because um, I also heard that there's a game mode without all these EXO stuff. So those who enjoy the, um, you know, just the feel without any new change, that can still play that. So if I'm, you know, not happy with how the game's built, then I can just hop on there and probably just have the same amount of fun as I do on other CODs, which was. Um, Alright, I guess. I mean, obviously, there's a rage, but you got to rage every now and again, to be honest. Uh, the next question is from Carnage, and his question is from. Um, his question is, how old was I when I first started on COD? Um, I'd say 11, um, 2009 to 2014, 16. Now, yeah, 11. So um, I was one of you know squeaky. Oh my god, there's still 360 no scopes in Brown. You know, you know those kind of kids in MW3 used to do private match setup trick shots and stuff like that. I was one of those guys. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much the answer to that. The next question is from Febril Congalvez. Sorry if I've mispronounced your name, anybody. Um, his question is, well, on what plan platform will I play Advanced Warfare? Uh, the platform that I will be playing Advanced Warfare will be PlayStation 4. As you guys know, I've recently brought it. Um, I'll probably buy it for the free, for the 360 as well, mm, but not straight away because um, I want to get PS4 offers more in terms of graphics and it's actually built for the next gen, not for current gen. So that would obviously be a better incentive to buy it on the next gen consoles instead. And um, the next question is from the Beavest God, and his question is, what is my worst and best COD? My worst COD is MW2 because I didn't really play it. I didn't play it for fun. I didn't really enjoy, you know, the amount of BS that it included. Um, and my best COD is World at War, obviously, because it's my first and it had zombies, which is the main reason why I played COD back then. And I just had the most fun on it, to be honest. The next question is from the Greedy Burger, and he asks, "How was I made into the person I am today?" Um, well, I'm pretty sure it's the same as everyone else. I was born, I was raised, I was fed, I slept, I drank, played quite every now and again, did my homework, went to school. Um, all those little things tied together make me the person I am today, I guess. I mean, there's no actual anything different um, to make me who I am. It's just me. I don't know. And the next question is from Chris Diaz and... He said, why am I bald? Do I have a sickness or do I shave my hair? What? What? Am I bald? Am I? Mm, no, I'm not bald. I don't think so. I don't know how to answer that, to be honest. The next question's from Death of ENT. Why is my P why is my PNIS blue? I'm assuming it's in penis. Why is it blue? Um... Probably because um, 
I don't know, you, may, you might mistreat it if you ask me. If you if you abuse it, it's probably going to go blue a lot. You probably hit it. I mean, it probably does have feelings of its own, so, you know, lay off it a little bit. The next question is from Adam Jorhyu, and his question is, what is my favourite card? World at War, as I said before. I've got a few questions like that, which is fine. I mean, they probably didn't, you know, know that everyone asked that, but anyways. The next question is from, and the last question actually is from Blue Arrow Boy, and he asks, what are some of my future goals? And, um, yeah, my future, I don't know what he means, if he means YouTube, um, I'd say my my real aim when I started was actually 1k, but um, now I'm already past that, and in fact doubled that, I think I have a fair obligation to go for 10k, um, eventually, I'm not saying I'll get it within the next year or so, I'm just saying it would be nice to hit 10k, get a 5, you know, figure amount of subs, that's pretty sick if you ask me, and if you mean in real life, um, I'm not actually sure, I don't know what career or path I want to choose yet, I'm still optimistic as to what I want to do, but um, yeah, that's pretty much it for the video, hopefully you guys did enjoy, uh, make sure to leave a like if you did, and um, let me know if you want me to do more Q&As frequently because um, I'm not too fussed about it.